Hello everybody, it's Andy here from AIM Media Games. Um, in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a teleport system for your player. So you could be uh, making a horror game, puzzle game, a platformer, and you just want some way of transporting the character quickly from one place to another. Um, and you, it, it's quite good as well because you can set this up with as many as you like and it's very easy to follow along to. So, without further ado, let's jump into how to set that up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our quickly add to project panel, which is just at the top here with the uh, green cross. We're going to go down to all classes and we're going to get a trigger. It can be a box, capsule, sphere or volume, but we're going to go for a box. We're going to drag that into our scene and then we're going to just create an, a fake little platform just to show us where that is so we can see that easily in the scene. So it's going to be there. Let's scale that down. So now we have our teleport start location. And you can use this to go up into the sky, uh, anywhere really around your entire level. Um, so the next step, we're going to multi like make a copy of this. So I'm going to multiply that. I'm going to bring that out. And we're going to set that as our teleport location. The only thing that we have to do with this first is make sure there's no collision on it. And we can also hide in game so it doesn't render. So we're going to scroll down in our details panel on our right hand side. And we're going to set up collision to no collision. And then we're going to go into our level blueprint. So open up your level blueprint. So you're going to click on here. And then open level blueprint. Once we're in there, we're going to set up our code. So let's go to... Let's drag that onto there so it's easier to swap between. So we're going to our trigger box, highlight that, go into our level blueprint, I'm going to right click, and then we're going to go to add event for trigger box one. We're going to get collision, add on actor begin overlap, and then we have our start of our code here. So what we want to do is as the player walks into this little area, we want it to teleport him to this location. So to do that, we're going to cast to um, I'm using the first person game, so cast to first person character. If you're doing cast to third person for a third person game. Now that we've done that, what we want to do is get a reference to our block, which is our teleport location. So we're going to go into our level, highlight our, our cube, which is our teleport, teleport spot and we're going to right click and get a reference to and then once we've done that we're going to <coughs> excuse me we're going to drag out of this and we're going to get a get world uh, location with a static mesh component being the object that it's referencing and then out of the uh, output pin for our first person character we're going to get teleport and that'll set that up nicely for us there. It's connected all those up. And then out of the get world location, we're gonna drag the return value into the destination and then compile. And then if you go into the game, so let's put that up there into the sky and then we'll make a cube and pop that there. We'll go to that cube by pressing F. This is going to be our platform so let's get our location so our location is this we're going to copy that so go to location copy grab the cube that I just dropped in I'm going to paste that and drop that down a little bit make that a little bit more on the flat side and then scale that up on both of these so now we've got a better way to visualize where we've moved to so then if we go into the game let's make sure this is all set up correctly and then compile and then we go in and we step on and then it'll teleport us to this new location so that's it for this video i thought i'd do a quick one as i've been requested to do so and it wouldn't take me that long to do so that concludes the video and um, if you found this helpful click that like button and um, share it to help the channel grow and obviously if you haven't already subscribed consider doing so it really supports the channel helps me provide you with the content as well so you can learn along with unreal well, thanks for watching and take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. So cheers. Bye-bye for now.